Welcome to the Clash Bash League. I am William Table and Legs. Uh, this is Game 2, Theo versus Darth Prentice. Uh, in Game 1, Theo was able to just barely get there with a Razor Reflex Kadachi on his Ira versus Darth Prentice's Blade. Running back the Blaze. Running back the Blaze. Uh, he's going to be playing up against Theo's Icelander, which I think this is definitely an Icelander... Uh, a di an Icelander uh, favored matchup. And so Darth, uh, uphill climb from here. Let's see if he gets it done. Um, so the interesting thing about wizard battle is obviously the equipment, right? So Blaze has, I believe that's, that's AB3, right? Does the, uh, does the cloak give AB? It totally does. Leave it in the comment if cloak gives AB. Yes, it does. It gives AB. So AB3 on Blaze, but Isolator AB3 as well with the headpiece. They're running Goliath Gauntlet. That makes everyone think that they're going to be running attack actions. We haven't seen Isolator play any attack actions yet, but could be. Blaze is running their signature piece of equipment, or at least it seems like a talismatic lens. Hasn't popped it yet. I think that's a little surprising. I think you're just waiting for an opportunity to do that. Life totals have been exchanged back and forth a little bit. Well, actually, just Blaze going down from 17 to 14. She starts at 17. Isolator stops at a whopping 18. Check that out. This is Fab 2.0 versus Fab 1.0 right here in the making. Uh, both running Waning Moon, which I think is completely respectable. Um, let's see how this shakes out. I, you know, I'm genuinely interested in this Goliath Gauntlet because we have not seen an attack action from Isolander. And, you know, it can just be how the deck shuffled or whatever, but we'll see how it goes. Um, so the interesting thing about Wizard Battles is typically they're like a slog in CDA. Wow, CEC, because uh, it's, it's the first person to shoot is probably the person to die. Uh, because of the uh, arcane boots, but it's more of like a back and forth from what I understand in clash because you don't have the, the uh, arcane boots uh, spell, whatever they're called. Um, and so without the arcane boots to play another card at instant speed, uh, it's not so much of two people with a gun pointed at each other, but whoever, replies and reactions their damage goes up their bullet fires off first <laughs> instead it's more like i don't know it's more like a proper game of flesh and blood but the arcane damage is different oh there we go wounded bull you met okay listen two card eight how about two card ten this is crazy blaze goes to pass turn uh Icelander's like, no, 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 no. Eat an ice bolt. Take a frostbite. And I'm hitting you with a wounded bull next turn. Let's go. I assume you could waning moon too if you wanted to keep your resources light. Or, I mean, if you wanted to double down on your resources. But, which I feel like if they take the damage, you probably do waning moon. I feel like that has to be the case. You waning moon right here? If you don't, I guess you're just trying to put something in Arsenal. And that's also fine as Icelander. I'm just thinking, like, trying to get the most out of your damage. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Spellfire Cloak to Waning Moon right now. It's an interesting use of it that's effectively, like, thinking of your Spellfire Cloak as dealing three damage. But also in this wizard matchup. Spooky. But also spooky, as I said. Two card ten. Nine. Actually, Icelander's at the most life. Oh my gosh, it's not something I'm actually very used to all that much. Nine damage out of Wounded Bull. Two card nine. I don't know. It's the same thing as the Goliath Gauntlet and Raging Onslaught. It's not awful. Oh my gosh. Block three. Use the Absorb and Aether combo I was talking about earlier. This is... Pretty good. So you're going to be blocking seven, presenting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven arcane damage in total. Two from Absorbing the Aether, two from this yellow Aether Dart, three from Waning Moon. So 
And also, Icelanders at AB2 right now because popped one of them to get that extra damage off on the Waning Moon, which is kind of risky, but here's Arctic Incarceration to make sure Blaze just doesn't do a god dang thing next turn. Uh, and wouldn't it be funny if you could toss that Frost Hex at him? Okay, interesting. Activating Blaze to get rid of the Frostbites. That's kind of neat. Scar for a Scar. Remember zero for fours will go again? How about zero for fours without go again? It's a break point. They're at one life. Blaze is on the ropes. This is dire. I feel like this is 100% leaning Icelander. I mean, you never want to be this low against a wizard at all. Uh, with three AB, Icelanders only got to do four damage, and there's an Aether Hail right there. Um, or you can just overwhelm them with a bunch of arcane damage right now. Okay. Blocks out the uh, Waning Moon. Still gets a Frostbite. Creates a Frost Hex. Won't be able to deal with the Frost Hex. It's their turn, so they can't pop Spellfire Cloak. I think this kills them. Yep. That's a good game, but Icelander wins it. Uh, Theo goes on to 2 0 -ing this match, which is very impressive. Let's be honest. Um, we didn't get to see Riptide, which is the biggest crime of today. But make sure to tune into the rest of Clash Bash right here. I've been William Table and Legs uh, from the Table Pit. Bye. Bye.